All right, so in this video, I'm going to be going over points, slope, midpoint, and distance. And this is the introductory video for my pre-calculus class. And this is just some review of some um, simple subjects in algebra and algebra 2. So uh, we're going to just look at the coordinate plane. So we're going, to, we're going to have an x and y axis. So this is y and this is x. And recall that this has four quadrants, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. And what we'll do is we'll plot the points. Let's start with point A, and we'll plot that point as being 4, uh, negative 3. And we'll go B is uh, negative 5, 2. So let's go and plot those points. So we're going to go 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the x, 1, 2, 3 on the y down. And that's going to be our point A. And then we're going to go B is going to go negative 5, 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, and up to 1, 2. And that is our point B. <clears throat> okay, so these are our two points, and that's how we plot our two points. So let's suppose that we wanted to uh, take a line and draw a line from point A to point B. So we can take a line and draw a line from point A. Oops. From point A to point B. Okay. So there's a line segment actually. And what we're going to do in this line segment is we are going to uh, find the slope of this line segment. So to find the slope of this line segment, I'm going to um, you know, draw a little right triangle. Sometimes they call these slope triangles. And I'm going to find this distance here, which I call the rise, and this distance here which I call the run. And this distance here, the distance of the run, can be found by taking the x-coordinates and subtracting them, because it's the difference of the x-coordinates. And the rise can be found by taking the difference of the y-coordinates. So a lot of times we see the slope. The slope is m as the rise over the run, or delta y over delta x. Or, if we're going to use a formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I wanted to find the slope of this particular line segment, I would say that the rise over the run is um, these will be my x2 and y2. And this will be my x1 and y1. So I'll have 2 minus a negative 3 over negative 5 minus 4, which is going to give me 2 plus 3 is 5 over negative 9. So my slope is negative 5 ninths. If I wanted to find the midpoint between, that's the midpoint is the point in the middle. Okay, so the point in the middle uh, right here is the midpoint. Now to find the midpoint, I would take half of this and half of this and find the point right in the middle. and the way I can find that, use the midpoint formula. So the midpoint is going to be the sum of the two x's divided by 2, and the sum of the two y's divided by 2. So I'm going to have, in this case, um, I'm going to have 4 plus negative 5 over 2, and negative 3 plus 2. 2 over 2. Now, it doesn't make a difference which comes first. In this case, it does. You have to stay consistent. And notice here, I didn't stay consistent. I went, uh, oh yeah, I did. I did 4 plus negative 5 and negative 3 plus 2. Okay, so we're good there. So we're going to get uh, negative 1 half comma negative 1 half, which looks about right where I drew it. Close anyway. Okay, so this is the midpoint. All right, lastly, um, we are going to look at the distance. Okay, So the distance is the distance between A and B. And the distance, uh, let's call that D. We can find D by taking the Pythagorean theorem. So it would be, uh, let's use the terms rise and run here. Um, D squared is equal to uh, rise, um, you know, run squared plus rise squared, I guess you can say. You know, this is this would be like a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So it's just like the Pythagorean theorem. Um, run, we remember, is x2 minus x1 squared. And rise here is 
uh, y2 minus y1 squared. And that's equal to d squared. And so with this, we get what we call the distance formula. So the square root of x squared minus x1, I'm sorry, x sub 2 minus x1 squared, plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that's the distance formula. So the distance formula comes from the Pythagorean theorem. So we'll go ahead and plug that in real quick. And move this out of my way. For our problem, d equals the square root of... Uh, we know what x2 minus x1, it's right here, negative 9 squared. And y2 minus y1 was up here, so that's 5, so 5 squared. So we're going to get the square root of 81 plus 25, which is the square root of 106. Um, we can, we'll just leave it at that. We can simplify that a little bit, but we'll just go ahead and leave it like that. Okay. So this is how we plot a point, find the slope. Use the midpoint formula, find the distance. Okay, so why don't you uh, take a second to do, um, to do just a practice here. So uh, what you should do is plot the points. Let's plot the point A um, as uh, four and six, and then plot the point B, negative three, negative one, and then find the, the so plot these points, find the slope, the midpoint, and the distance. Okay? Alright, that's it for this video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.